Hello students, <clears throat> standard sixth. In mathematics, we are learning the chapter number eight decimals. In the last few sessions, we learn how to add and subtract decimals. So, we are starting exercise 8.6. Question 1. Subtract. First one is rupees 18.25 from rupees 20.75 So now to subtract the second number which is starting from from must be written as here first rupees 20.75 minus rupees 18.25 So 0 7 minus 2 is 5 10 minus 8. Here we have to borrow 10. So here it will be 1. So 10 minus 8 is 2. And 1 minus 1, that is 0. So your answer is replace 2.50. Now, <clears throat> it is not necessary to show that things. They can, they can, you can do it in your mind also that you have to borrow your so there will be, but if you can't remember and make mistakes, then you can show it also, not a problem. B, 202.54 meter from 250 meter. So now, 250 is written as 250.00 meter because here there is two decimals and 2 or 2.54 meter. So now 10 minus 4 is 6. Here there will be 9, 9 minus 5, 4. Here also 9, 9 minus 2, 7. Here there will be 4. So 4 minus 0 is 4. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So your answer is 47.46 meter. Always don't forget to write down the unit. Like your rupees, your meter. That is very very important. C. Rupees 5.36 from Rupees 8.40 So now Rupees 8.40 minus Rupees 5.36 Borrow, so 10 minus 6 4, 3 minus 3 is 0. Here no borrow because already there. So 8 minus 5 is 3. So answer is rupees 3.04. D. 2.051 kilometer. From 5.206 kilometer. So, first we will write down that one 5.206 kilometer minus 2.051 kilometer. 
6 minus 1 is 5. Borrow, so 10 minus 5 is 5. Here it will be 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So, 3.155 kilometer. One thing is remember to is that always place the digits one over the other, one down the other. So it will be easier. Or you can write down very separately like this one. You can write down 5.206 minus 2.051. Then also it will be better for you. So whatever you think, but don't write down so congested. Sometimes the digit in the tenth place going to the hundredth place or so, then there will be problem. So when you write down, write down the numbers exactly down the other one. So that there will be easier to subtract. The last one is 0 0.314 kilogram. from 2.107 kilogram so 2.107 kilogram minus 0 0.314 kilogram so now 7 minus 4 is 3 Power of 10 minus 1 is 9. Here it will be 0. So again you would borrow. So 10 minus 3 is 7. And here 1 minus 0. That is 1. So 1.793 kilogram. So it is as easy to subtract the whole number that you learn in the lower standard. Just the difference is that you have to put that uh, decimal point and according to that the place value you have to put the digits properly then it is same as you did it in the lower standard now second question find the value of you also there are sums for the subtraction a 9.756 minus 6.28 so here we will write down 9.756 minus 6.28 and for our convenience put 0 here so 6 minus 0 is 6 5 so 15 because we have to borrow 15 minus 8 will be 7 here borrowed so 6 minus 2 is 4 and 9 minus 6 is 3 so if you can't do directly like me you can write down like that borrow then 6 so it will be easier for you B, 21.05 minus 15.27. So, 21.05 minus 15.27. So, here 15. So here it will be 9 and here it will be also 0, so 10 and here 1. So 15 minus 7 is 8, 9 minus 2 is 7, 10 minus 5 is 5 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So your answer is 5.78. C. Third one. 
माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन नाइन सो एटीन पॉइंट माइन फाइव माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन नाइन सो यर वी कैन पुट जीरो फॉर द इजियर वे सो नाउ टेन टेन माइनस नाइन इज वन फोर सो फोर्टीन फोर्टीन माइनस सेवन इज सेवन Here it will be seven. Seven minus six is one, and here one minus zero. If you want to put zero, or it is fine if you are comfortable with it. And D. Eleven point six minus nine point eight four seven. So here. Eleven point six minus nine point eight four seven. So here zeros. Ten minus seven is three. Nine minus four is five. Five so fifteen minus eight is seven. So here zero. So ten minus nine is one, and here zero. So if you write down zero. Or if you don't write down, same thing. So answer is one point seven five three. Now question number three. It's a word problem. Raju bought a book for rupees thirty three point sixty five. He gave rupees fifty to the shopkeeper. How much money did he get back from the shopkeeper? so this is also very important because when you also go and buy something and you give the 100 rupee note or 200 rupees note and then you should know how much you should get back so subtraction here with a decimal is very very important so he gave rupees 50 so rupees 50.00 minus What is the price for the book? Thirty-three sixty-five. So that one was given to the shopkeeper. Given to shopkeeper, and that is the price of book. Price of book. So now we have to subtract the. Thirty-three point sixty-five rupees. That is the price of that book from rupees fifty because fifty rupee is given to the shopkeeper. So now ten minus five is five. Here nine. Nine minus six is three. Again nine. Nine minus three is six. And here it will be four. So four minus three will be one. So therefore, Raju will get rupees sixteen point thirty five back from shopkeeper. So here we have to subtract that amount from the rupees fifty, and then you get the answer. Now the Question number four. Raju, uh, Ra Rani, Rani had rupees eighteen fifty. She bought the one ice cream for rupees eleven seventy five. How much money does she have now? So, whatever amount she had, from that we have to. subtract the price of ice cream and then we will get the answer so she had how much rupees 1850 she had minus ice cream is of rupees 11.75 she bought ice cream 
So now, what amount will be remaining that we have to subtract? So now, borrow so 10 minus 5 will be 5. Here 4. So borrow 14 minus 7 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. And then 6.75. So rupees 6.75 remaining. Therefore, what is the question? How much money C has rupees 6.75 now? So, here, why this addition and subtraction are necessary to understand? Because when you also Every time you can't go market with your parents, sometimes you have to go alone also to buy something. And then you don't take the particular amount that exactly to buy. You will take either the 100 rupee note or 200 rupee, etc. Then whatever you buy, you have to check and then you give the 100 rupee note. And then the shopkeeper will give you the amount and you have to check is it right or wrong. Otherwise, if the customer is clever and you don't even check and put it in your pocket, then maybe he cheat you. He gave you less money. Then if you go back, then he will tell you, no, I give you the right amount, maybe you lost it. So, whenever you go buy something and check the bill and total amount and then from that if he subtract properly and gave you the change back it is very very necessary otherwise anybody can fool you and then you lose your money so be careful and learn this subtraction and addition of decimals very carefully so we are going to finish the session but before that let me tell you that uh, the last two questions you can do for homework. Question number 5 and question number 6. You have to write down in your homework. And here, not only our chapter, I mean the session, the exercise, but the, our chapter number 8, decimals, is also completed. So it will be followed by PDF. Maybe some more examples for your practice also I will give you. And any confusion, you can write down the message. Thank you very much.